In this period of lockdown and isolation, I know that we've all been doing a heck of a lot more home cooking, and pasta is one of the easiest, most satisfying, and comforting foods that we can make. I love the taste of a creamy pasta sauce, but sometimes it can feel a little bit too heavy and rich. So today, I'll be sharing a healthy, low-fat, creamy pasta sauce recipe that is tasty, high in fiber, and guilt-free, and two ways that you can serve and modify this in a carbonara style and a mac and cheese. As per normal with my recipe videos, I've gone ahead and added timestamps to each part of the recipe in the description box below, so you can always come back to whatever you feel like, whenever you do feel like having them. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below because I upload new videos every week on healthy recipes and sustainability. Alright, so let's get on to this healthy, low-fat, creamy pasta sauce recipe and two ways that you could serve this up. First up is making our sauce. The base of this creamy sauce is going to be cauliflower. Some people think that cauliflower is a vegetable that's mainly just fiber with not too much other nutrients going on because it's not very colorful or flavorful, but cauliflower is actually an excellent source of nutrients containing vitamin C, K, B6, and folate to name a few. It's also a rich source of choline, a nutrient that plays a major role in maintaining the integrity of cell membranes in our body and supporting our metabolism. Choline is also important for brain development and it can help prevent cholesterol from accumulating in the liver. This humble vegetable is also super fiber rich, which can help promote a feeling of fullness. So like many other fiber rich vegetables, it's a good ingredient to incorporate in your diet for weight control. Alright, getting back to our sauce, start off by cutting up a medium head of cauliflower into rough florets. They don't have to be perfect because we'll be blending this up. In a heated pot, add a drizzle of olive oil, then saute about 5 cloves of minced garlic in the oil. Once browned and fragrant, add in your florets and continue to saute and toss well so that the roasted garlic flavor permeates into the cauliflower bits. Once slightly browned, add in 1 cup of hot water and half a cup of milk. Here I'm using almond milk but you can use any milk of your choice. The liquid won't cover your vegetables but that's okay. Season with some salt and pop on the lid and allow to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until they can be lightly shredded with a fork. Once done, remove from the heat and using an immersion blender, blend up your cauliflower and liquid till smooth. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can also transfer to an upright blender just be careful when blending as hot liquids can cause the top to pop off. Once blended till smooth, test out if the sauce consistency is thin enough to your liking. If it's a little too thick, add some reserved milk in small splashes and mix in until you achieve a nice, smooth sauce consistency. The cauliflower will absorb the liquid, for me, I added somewhere between 3 quarters to 1 cup of extra milk, but it'll vary depending on your taste and also how big your cauliflower was. Now season with salt and pepper. Cauliflower is about 90% water and we've just blended it all up with extra liquid, so season well and taste to make sure it suits your liking. If you're adding salty elements like cheese to your sauce, like what we will do for the mac and cheese, just take into account that that will also make your sauce saltier. And that's our healthy, low-fat, high-fiber, creamy sauce. Now that we've made our sauce, let's cover the first variation of how to serve it, which is as a healthy carbonara. While you're making your sauce, boil 4 serves of spaghetti to al dente. In a large heated pan, add a drizzle of olive oil. Then add to your pan some diced pancetta. 
Or if you couldn't get any pancetta at the store like me, you can substitute with bacon bits. Saute and cook until crispy, then add in your drained pasta. Toss well the coat with all of that flavor, then spoon on your sauce and again toss well to coat. Plate your pasta up on the dish and garnish with some sliced fresh herbs and if you want, some shredded cheese. And that's an easy, healthy version of carbonara. If you cook the sauce and boil the pasta at the same time, this meal comes together in about 30 minutes. This was super satisfying and filling. If you like a bit of spice, you could also top with some chili flakes. The second variation of how to serve this is as a healthy version of mac and cheese. Again, while you're making your sauce, boil 6 serves of macaroni to al dente. To your finished sauce, add 1 cup of shredded tasty cheese. If you're vegan or dairy-free, you can substitute with nutritional yeast. Stir well till it's well combined. Again, check the consistency of your sauce. If you find it starting to dry out, add a bit more milk, dairy or dairy-free to thin the sauce out. Once done, add your drained macaroni to your sauce and toss well to coat. Remove your pot from the heat. To a deep baking safe dish, pour in your macaroni and cheese sauce mixture and spread out to a thick layer. Top with a little more shredded cheese or nutritional yeast, then top off with some panko crumbs for extra crunch. Pop into a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about 5 to 8 minutes until the top is nicely crisp and browned. Again, every oven is a little bit different, so just be sure to check on it to make sure it doesn't get burnt. Once done, remove from the oven, slice up into serving sizes, and plate. Garnish with some freshly sliced herbs and top with additional cheese if you so desire. This really satisfied my cheesy craving and the added panko topping gave a nice crunchy texture to the smooth mac and cheese. And that's an easy, healthy version of mac and cheese. All right, so that's my healthy, low-fat, creamy pasta sauce recipe and two ways that you can modify and serve it up. This is a great way to get some extra fiber in your meals without you or your loved ones noticing. Because I love pasta, I've decided to do a second pasta recipe video, so stay tuned because that video will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. If you did enjoy this video, please do take the time to hit that like button down below and hit subscribe because it really helps to support my channel and I upload new videos every week on healthy recipes and sustainability. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!